video number two. I just wish, wish to clarify um, that I will not be attending the second public meeting organised by Paddy Dever, Michael Doherty and others on the 26th of March 2024. And it's not for the reason that some people think. Um, the reason that I will not be attending is that I am concentrating on going the legal road as were the campaigners who are conducting their campaign, which I have no objection to, or to anything else that they're doing, um, they are going the political route. And everyone knows my opinion on that political route, which has failed to date. Now, myself and 13 other homeowners are actually going to attempt to take a judicial review on behalf of all the people of Donegal that are affected by this defective concrete scandal incorrectly known as the Donegal Mica scandal. And I think everyone at this stage knows why the word Mica and Free Star was actually invented uh, for this scandal because it has deflected away from the true cause of what is actually causing the structural defects in all the properties in Donegal which is predominantly pyritite and other reactive iron sulphate minerals, which sulphate attack is causing the structural defects. Now, our aim is to take a very much needed judicial review in the public interest, which senior politicians in this county should have had the courage to have taken that judicial review in the public interest long before now. But that's a, that's a matter for the public to ask them the questions. Why they haven't done so to date on our behalf. Now I've advocated since 2014 that the legal road is the only road. And 2,000 homeowners, which is as claimed uh, Coleman Legal represent, have decided to go the legal road. But as everyone knows, my family and I are adv advocates of the legal road and the legal road only because that is the only place where we will get real justice in the end. It is a legal minefield to attempt what we are actually going to do and it will cost in the region of 20 to 30 thousand euro to prepare the papers to take such a judicial review because you have to have a junior council, senior council and a senior council who is up to date on all the issues that we are facing and who specialise in the field of defective concrete, EU legislation, uh, uh, judicial reviews and in particular specialising in judicial reviews. And this is not going to be easy um, because there is a huge risk of losing this case and having a huge legal bill awarded against us and in particular if that judicial review is taken in my name as a certain public representative it's a huge risk to me personally so I just finish off that video this or this video on that point and I will explain more in the next video I feel that the shorter videos people will be able to understand them a bit better than than a big long-winded video so watch out for the next video. Thank you.